Today I'm in the backyard. It's really hot, but I had this idea that I had to try out, which is uh, converting my 5x7 tent footprint into a um, quick and easy minimalist shelter. And so I'll show you that right now. I have a tarp, but I don't have any sort of natural tree or anything to make a ridge line off. So what would I do if I wanted to set up my tarp to get out of the sun, to take a nap or something if I was on a long day hike? and just completely exposed. So I'm gonna try and see if I can work with what's in the backyard uh, and only have my tarp. See if I can get it going. I like to experiment with stuff in the backyard before I actually try it outdoors because I found that um, it's helpful in determining like if an idea is a good one or not. I'm just gonna tie a simple loop that it cinched down over it. I'm gonna grab my mallet Now I'm gonna come down, try and get this flat on the ground. This is pretty much my first attempt ever trying to do something like this. I've put up a tarp with a ridge line before, but this is uh, more difficult, I would say. But figuring out how much space you need while not pulling the tarp over. I can say this is just quite difficult because of the heat. I hate the Son, I'm a northern boy, so. I like how low it is there. Here, I wish it was a little lower. And then here, it's kind of high. The wind's catching it and pulling it up. Okay, let's crawl under there and see. I'm gonna go grab my pad. Put it out under there and see if this would work. I'm gonna throw it under here and see. Um, see how it works out. I think I'm probably going to stick out on each side because I'm about six foot two and uh, I made it shorter by putting that rise in it. But it's all learning. I'm going to I'm going to keep learning. So this tarp, by the way, this is a tent footprint and it's seven long by five wide. So I'm not sure if that's big enough to do what I'm trying to do. But in a pinch, would this work as an emergency shelter? Now I'm under it. This is definitely better than nothing. So you can see that's what I hammered into the ground just with another piece of wood. And if this was rounded off or maybe wrapped with a hat or a bandana or a beanie, it would be a bigger surface and it might actually grip this a little bit better too. And I think I'm gonna buy tarp clips to put there and then I could run like a cord around that to secure it. I realized too, this needs to lean so that this edge stays over it. And I think I actually broke it at the bottom, but if you had a, a hiking pole, even one trekking pole, you could put this up. I'm also interested in getting some clips, especially one right here to clip to this and then run a gu run, be able, run be able to run a guy line off the back of here. And then maybe in the front too, to keep this lip over. This you don't want to puncture through the tarp. So if you rounded the edges, you know, it took a few minutes and really smoothed that off, maybe even wrapped like a beanie or a bandana around it so that it was a bigger surface area, then it would really add um, some, some some stability. I mean, if you really had zero shade and you just needed to lie down and get out of the sun for the hottest part of the day, I am out of the sun. There is a nice breeze. I think that's one of the benefit of tarps is People say that the breeze is allowed to come and go. So if there's any bugs, that helps blow them away. Uh, you don't have condensation like a regular tent. Maybe I can move those back tent stakes to try and pull it and get it tighter. Just an experiment. I think I'm gonna keep working on it. If you like watching somebody experiment with uh, simple gear and suffer along the way, feel free to subscribe, like this video if you like it. And uh, yeah, I'll try and do this in a more scenic setting next time. And We'll see how it goes. See ya.